Welcome to Lesson 5 of using TurboCAD to draw model airplane plans. In Lesson 5, we're going to take where we left off on 4, where we took a wing half from the snapper frame and filled in some structure. Now, we had the structure partially done. Uh, let's take a look, a closer look, at what I finished up between the lessons. Again, it's just our repetitive um, actions. Put in the rear top and bottom 1 8 inch balsa uh, spar. Uh, cleaned up all the cutouts, uh, completed the um, the full depth 1 16th inch spar here, and just made the wing uh, basically finished up. Uh, one thing I did add is a 1 16th inch plywood dihedral brace, and we'll show how to draw that in a second. So what we'll do in this lesson is put the necessary cutouts for these spars and braces into the wing rib so we have a complete end and then also show how to do an angular um, cutout on the end for the spars and the dihedral brace. And we'll use that using construction lines. There's really no need to measure. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is put in a horizontal construction line. Uh, we'll uh, snap to a vertex here. And I'm going to zoom with the control wheel and put construction line left click escape just like that. We'll turn off the snaps and again using the zoom wheel we're going to have a line that will be the top of the cutout uh, that you'll see how we use this in a second uh, when we rotate the rib. So left click with the um, line tool, left click to establish that, hold down the shift key so it's horizontal and then uh, click again and we'll select and that's where that is right there so the select is right there. Let's go ahead and clear out that construction line like that. And with the uh, track wheel, we'll zoom out again. Now, it's always a good idea when we're doing changes like this to work with a fresh copy. So let's select all that with the left mouse button, copy, and then we're going to paste. And what we'll do is we'll just move all this right down here so that we have um, just move that a little bit further down like this and left click out of there. Okay, so now what we're going to do again with the vertex and the horizontal lines, let me zoom up just a little bit here. We're going to have a construction line here. We'll have one here and we'll put one at the bottom and escape to get out of the construction lines. What we'll do now is with the selection tool, left click, we'll select the wing rib we're going to copy and paste and we left select, we'll move this here notice that tone cues us is trying to snap, it doesn't want to do that so it's a good reminder to no snap with the rotation handle here, we left click, we rotate it, and as we get near vertical we hold down the shift key, let go of the mouse button and now it's uh, 90 degrees vertical and just with the left mouse button we put it uh, in between the top and bottom construction lines for the wing. Again, a little bit of overlap, click outside is good for the construction. So let's go ahead and zoom in and show how we can use these construction lines to draw things like the leading edge. One thing I need to note is when I left click on this um, rib here, the entire thing is selected because of the curves and the nature of curves is just a group. So what we have to do for our work is left click on explode because that will allow us to do the trim. Is You cannot trim something that is a complete object. Uh, you have to explode it if you ever run into problems with that. And what we're going to do is put in a line that will be the, um, uh, the, le the um, leading edge. So let's just select the line tool, click here, hold down the shift key, draw this up, and there we have the line for the leading edge. We'll go ahead and with edit clear construction line. Go ahead and get rid of this aft construction line. And now we're just going to use our trim tool to neat that up. We'll have to zoom in with a curve. You're never quite sure where that is because there's many little segments on the curve. There's one right there. We escape, zoom out, and we'll zoom in here. Pick a cutting edge, left click, escape, and now we have the uh, line for the leading edge of the rib and we'll leave that in there. Let's go ahead and do the same thing so the notches onto the rib can like an egg crate carton fit into the notches on this full depth spar. 
Notice with the spar, the notch is on the top, so the notch has to be on the bottom of the rib. Again, what we'll do, I'm using the track wheel to zoom in. We're going to go to select. We will um, use the vertex and horizontal lines, so we have one here and one here. So you can see we have a very accurate escape to get um, out of that uh, distance where the lines are. And what we'll do now is select vertex, get rid of the, um, excuse me, select intersection, get rid of the vertex, and we'll have the line again. And now we're going to zoom in here. You can see it is snapping to the vertex or the intersection of the construction lines and the regular lines here and left click. Now let's go ahead and clear out these construction lines and you'll see how we can click construction, no snap, left click, left click. Now we just have to clear up this notch. Left click on the trim, cutting edge, left click, escape, cutting edge, left click, escape. Oops, hit the wrong button there. I uh, meant to hit escape. And what we want to do is clear out this distance between the notch, just like we did before. We're going to have to use the entity. I'll zoom in once. So we'll click on the line, left click, trim, left click cutting edge, click to trim, escape, left click cutting edge, left click, escape. With the trim wheel, we zoom out, and you can see how uh, we have the, the notch completely aligned with the um, with a 1 16th inch spar here. And just for one final exercise, let's do that for the 1 8th inch uh, square spars on the back. Again, as before, we'll select, we will use the vertex and the horizontal construction line here and here, because that's where the spars are. We escape to get out of that. And what we're going to do is, with no snap, we're going to kind of have what I call just um, a dummy line because we have to use that for a parallel function. So I'm just going to click here, hold down the shift key, and click down here. You'll see how why we do that in a moment, just because of the curved surface. We use a parallel line, and we need to establish the top of the spars, so we left click on this, move it up, notice the offset lower left, tab 1 8th, which is the distance of the spar. And the same thing here, we move this in, tab 1 8th, enter. Now, we uh, will go ahead and use the line. We'll use the vertex, uh, or the intersection for the snap. And let me uh, zoom in here just a little bit. So you can see all this. We're just going to snap here, here, left click. Notice it's going to the intersection of the line and the construction line. Same here and here, snap, snap, and we'll save that. So let's clear the construction lines, get rid of our snaps, left click, left click, and what we want to do is simply clean this up with the trim. Left click, cutting edge, left click, escape, cutting edge, left click, escape. We want to clear, excuse me, this section right here, we have to split the entity so we have something to trim. We do that. Click on the trim. Left click, cutting edge, escape. Left click for cutting edge. Left click to trim and escape. We can do a similar thing for the top spar. Left click, trim, and escape. Left click, trim, and escape. Now, with the curves, because the curves are, are a, a number of segments, you never really know how much. You'll have to experiment to see uh, where we can get uh, the cutting surface. What I do normally is just select to see if there's any spaces. There is right there. We'll just click delete. Uh, we'll click delete here because we don't need that anymore. Let's see if we can trim this right here. There's a trim surface there. Fine. Escape. Left click to find a trim surface, find escape, and we'll use this as a cutting edge. That is gone, escape, cutting edge, left click, escape. And now, because these are curved segments, we simply select them. There's nothing to trim, delete, and delete, 
we'll zoom out with a scroll wheel so you can get the idea how we do the notches here and it's the same thing for the for the trailing edge you just use parallel lines trim construction lines for the intersections as well as for the notches here top and bottom now what I'd like to demonstrate now is um, how we can take the um, 1 16th inch spar and put in the proper angle for the dihedral and this will give you some insight as to how the uh, turbo cad can work what we want to do is on this model for the snapper we have two inches of dihedral so what I'm going to do now is with the horizontal construction line you can notice on the side this is the bottom of the wing and we're just going to go up two inches left click escape the distance between these two construction lines is two inches is going to be the dihedral what I'm going to do is always save and we're going to make a copy of this dihedral brace in case we make a mistake paste and what I'm going to do is put this just on the bottom reference construction line now notice that we can rotate it here I'm left clicking but it's at a middle point and that's not what we want so I'm going to with this spar selected I right click on the mouse and you'll notice that there's an edit reference point we're going to select that go to a vertex and we're going to put the reference point right here with a left click now let me zoom out just a little bit what we do with that is we now rotate on that point so let me do escape we're going to get rid of the snap and what we do is we simply rotate it with the left mouse button and let go and there the um, uh, the, the uh, brace is at the proper angle let's go ahead and zoom in on that for a second and what we're going to do is to have the proper angle we're going to have the vertex we're going to draw a line we'll put this right here turn off the snaps and with the shift button make that completely vertical left click with the selection tool we're going to go ahead and zoom in and make this the angle right here so we do with trim cutting surface here escape cutting surface left click escape we're going to select there's nothing to trim because this line is a line by itself delete and you can see that we have a, a perfect angle for a two inch dihedral of that spar now what we're going to do at this point is go ahead and make a mirror command for the other half of this we'll simply select the whole spar we will select vertex the mirror command we select one point the other point escape and you can see how we have now uh, done the entire um, spar right there. And it's a very similar action to draw the 1 16th inch ply spar. You just want to make it below this line right here. And the same thing with select and the mirror command uh, to make that for the ply spar that you did uh, along here. So again, that's a view on how to do the angles. Um, for dihedral, how the initial look at the notches on the ribs, I'll complete this for the next lesson. And then on lesson six, we'll do the finished wing and we'll talk about the mirror command, uh, doing the uh, rib cutouts and other things to come up with a uh, completed wing. Look forward to seeing you on lesson six.